think one of the challenges you face with our client is the difference between them understanding that we're not selling the house to them, right. we're selling the house to a potential buyer. Right. And it's hard sometimes to overcome because what we like and what we see is sometimes very different than what the millennials, I mean, the younger <laughs> people, I mean, you know, that have no taste. I mean, the millennials see. You don't like my favorite painting of dogs playing poker? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? Classic. So, so, so can you give some folks out there some therapy advice to think about as, as you, we go through this? this I mean, she, she faces it a lot. But I, what I tell them is just start thinking of it as not your home anymore. Right. And <gasps> move your head forward. I'm still making payments. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I raised my children here. <laughs> <laughs> move your mind forward as far as getting excited for your next home and uh, your next stage of life. And um, just, you know, uh, let let it be the way it's supposed to be, that it would appeal to the majority of people out there, and um, we'll be able to sell it much quicker that way. 17% faster, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I've got a question here. How about um, personal uh, photos? I've always heard about that. Like, you know, you've got all your personal photos, and I know they want to come in and you know, envision themselves living there. And, right, you know, right. And, and, and you know, the way I was taught was, to take all the photos out, mm -hmm. but I've also been in homes where they've got, you know, one or two big portraits, and I just give them my suggestions, but if they really want to keep them up because they don't have maybe something else to put up there or whatever, but you want the people walking through the door to think of it as their own home mm -hmm. and not someone else's, sure. and that's the reason you're taught that way. Yeah, you know, I had a... a <laughs> very dear friend, and she's still a very dear friend and a client, who, and she admits this, so I know she listens regularly, so so I'm not going to say that she is, she's going to embarrass her, <laughs> is that over her fireplace, she had a giant picture of her daughter. I know who you're talking I know. <laughs> so I, she had a giant, giant picture of her daughter, and underneath were candles and lights and everything, so we lit the candles that lit up her daughter, and it, it was a beautiful picture. Yes, it was. And she called it the shrine to her daughter. <laughs> yeah. And so when Carrie went over the stage, she said, you know, person, <laughs> I love you, however, you need to take down the shrine. <laughs> and she did. She did. We she sold awesome. the house. So so if you have a shrine to your family or a family member or a pet, when you're selling your home, you might want to think about deshrining it. That's you can, right. You can put the shrine up in your house. That's exactly That's right. right. That's right. Pack exactly up the shrine right. and take it down the yeah. road. Yeah, and, and the more you pack up early, the more you have done. And, you know, just the decluttering and all that, it just helps you along the way. Yes, yeah. and never leave an oil painting in the garage. Okay. <laughs>